Hi, welcome to this episode of Game Creation. So, yesterday we managed to hook up the uh, D-pad, which is fantastic, but a lot of people love this analog stick, and it would be a shame to allow people to use the D-pad but not use the analog stick because it's too complicated. And it's not actually that complicated. It is slightly harder than yesterday's video, because yesterday's video was up, down, left, right. It was the same as the keyboard. This requires a little bit more understanding about how this thing works. And basically, I'll go through it now. So, this thing does not read um, the degrees at which, um, the angle at which it's um, it's pushed. It would be nice if it's 0 to 360 and it just gives you a number. It doesn't work like that. And actually, within this controller itself, um, it doesn't, it has no idea what angle it's at. Um, basically, you've got two sensors inside uh, any um, uh, stick, which I'm not sure if there's any sticks that don't do this. I think they all do this, to my knowledge. Um, the sensors read how far uh, left to right they are and how far up and down they are. And as you go around the stick, those um, voltages, because they just read the voltage, uh, There's a, I think it's called an actuator, but there's a voltage reader, and it's very high to the right and very low to the left. Um, and with those two values, the left value and the uh, up value, or the right value and the up value, um, you can actually calculate the angle which the uh, controller is pushed very, very easily. Now, the Xbox controller um, object, which we included in our application, uh, in our game yesterday, um, actually gives you those two values, and it makes things simpler for you. Um, I mean, if you've actually tried to code things straight from a controller, it, it doesn't give you nice values, um, but it converts them to 100 being fully right, 0 being flat on the middle, and then minus 100 being left. Same with up, so up is 100, 0 is just, it's not up or down at all, and then down is minus 100. So it's 100 to minus 100, 100 to minus 100. Um, so always think of, well, with this, always think of up and right being the positive direction, just like a normal um, grid. Now, we know that when we place things on the on the game, um, actually down is the positive one. So you just got to kind of keep that in your head. Um, just like uh, numbers always start with one, unless you're using an array or a lot of other things in coding, which zero is the first one. It gets a bit confusing, but the more practice you have, the more you get used to it. So, as long as we know that 100 is right and minus 100 is left, uh, 100 is up on the on the Y axis and minus 100 is down, very, very simple. And I'm going to show you how simple it is. It seems daunting at first. Actually, it's horrendously simple. Let's get started. So, uh, I've opened up the same project we had, as we had yesterday. Let's open up the frame. Uh, let's just run it quickly. And I'm using the D-pad. But the analog stick, which I'm clicking now, doesn't do anything. So let's go sort that out. So I'm going to copy all of this. And what I do is hold shift down. So I click on the comment and then click on the moving is off. And I'm just going to copy, control and C. Then I'm just going to pay, uh, paste it in here. Okay. Now, I've written analog. I don't know why I've written analog. That should be D-pad. Uh, so, obviously, <laughs> the comments probably yesterday were, why did you write analog there? Because that's not analog, that's D-pad, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> so, thank you if you wrote comments, but I've already fixed it. Um, okay, so Xbox Analog, this is the analog stick, so this is the one we're interested in. Basically, the D-pad are just four buttons, uh, up, down, left, right, and so the buttons get clicked. When you click down, you click the down button. Uh, and if you've used um, a switch Joy-Con, like they've just used buttons for the left Joy-Con, um, but there's no difference uh, underneath the when they revised it to a D-pad. It's just four buttons still um, on the Switch Lite, for instance. Um, okay, so analog means that there's a kind of continuum. It's not just four buttons. There's a continuum, which is the um, the voltage. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to replace this now. You might go into the Xbox uh, object and go, oh, where is it here? Uh, there's nothing here that does it. And this is the frustration, is that there's nothing here that triggers it. Because this is continually changing, there's no fixed point. Um, so they haven't put it in here. But it's very easy to do. What you do is you right-click here, and you want to do compare two general values. 
and now if you right click on the Xbox gamepad you can actually get the value for the um, where are we for the sticks so it's the left stick because it the, normally you control people or your player with the left hand side of the joystick and then right hand side is normally used for the for the camera or for other things and we want to get the horizontal position now remember this is the right hand um, we're going right with this player numbers one and we're saying it equals now remember what I said right um, is a hundred now I'm going to talk through that a little bit later but let's just do it like this for now um, this is the left so that would be minus 100 simple as that I'm going to replace this and do the two general values and this time I want the horizontal sorry the vertical position okay vertical obviously meaning up or down and it's up so it's gonna be a hundred and then I'm just gonna click and drag that oh clicked on the wrong bit and equal minus 100 okay so moment of truth and when I was testing this I did get this wrong um, so hopefully I'll get this right um, so let's try it so right perfect left up and down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, down is up and up is down. Okay, so I just wanted to change that. So that would be minus 100. And that, uh, let me just switch over. That would be 100. Now, does that mean... Oh, wow, 100 is down. I didn't know that. That's why I got it wrong. So let's try that again. Up, down, left, and right. So let's have a look and see what happened there, because this is quite interesting. I am learning. Um, so down is actually positive and up is actually negative. So it does follow the same convention as on the game thing. I didn't think it did, um, but there we go. Apparently it does. So to go down, um, you need to be positive. So just like the game field, you imagine in here, this is zero, zero here. Um, and you no, that is right that is right um, so a hundred is down and minus a hundred is up there you go there you go right um, now let's just talk about this <laughs> um, so if I click right slightly so if I go slightly right notice it's not going right at all only when it goes fully right then it, it triggers now that could actually be really good or it could get really annoying um, because if I don't get it perfectly down say if I'm down here somewhere and the player might think well that's pretty much down um, the player on screen won't go down till it's perfectly down so we might want to change that slightly um, because um, I don't I don't want it to have to be perfect so Let's just experiment a bit. So we want it greater or equal to maybe 90. Let's try that. And this will be lower or equal to minus 90. Uh, this will be lower or equal to minus 90. And this will be greater than or equal to 90. Let's just run that now. Let's see. Let's see if there's an improvement in that. So click right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go up, but not yeah. See, I didn't go. I didn't get it perfectly up and left. I'm gonna sort of sort of clumsy left. Yeah, down, right. That's perfect. I don't have to be precise at all. The most annoying thing is when when you're a player, um, and you think you clicked something, but the player doesn't move. It does get quite irritating if it keeps happening. Um, and if you get your code wrong and you demand the player gets it exactly right uh, and not just slightly miss it, then it, it then it's really frustrating to play and you can miss like um, the game presses and it's one of those things that if a player does it once they'll probably do it multiple times and it will get really annoying. Um, and this is just something in testing kind of tweak. Um, and the same thing happens if you hold it down. That's working perfectly. Let's hold the D-pad down works perfectly 
So this is this is a very very easy movement. Um, but I might go back to it later on, and maybe ninety is not enough. Maybe I want it to be a bit more precise. Um, and you can have it so that if if you move the stick at all, um, that you're you're constantly getting that um, getting a movement. Um, so you can have it so that it works out what the closest direction is, whether it's up, down, left, or right. Uh, but we're not worried about doing that in today's video. Um, so there we go. So weirdly, I did not know this that um, I was kind of so a hundred is down and minus a hundred is up. So minus a hundred is up, which is really really bizarre. Um, but you know that um, when you add um, values to the y, it goes down. Um, and we know that, so the y-axis on the actual game field itself, um, the further down you go, the more positive it gets. So it kind of makes sense. So uh, I said at the start of the video that, oh, you've got to remember these two things. No, you don't. You've just got to remember one thing. So it seems to always follow the same way, which is actually quite nice. Uh, and I like the way they've done that because it, it makes it easier to remember. Um, I prefer that, you know, maybe y is up, like uh, the positive is up with the y-axis. But as long as you remember that right is up, right is positive. So if you want to add, or if you want to go right, you add. You've now got to remember that if you want to go down, you add. So right and down are the kind of positive areas, and then up and left are the negative ones. So I like it, <laughs> and it shows how kind of um, how uh, how I'm still making mistakes. I I actually don't use the Xbox controller much, um, so this is kind of a new territory for me, and I kind of had to rehearse these videos a bit. But I did get it wrong in rehearsals, so there we go. There you go. Excellent. Uh, and that is it for today. Um, tomorrow, uh, Tomorrow's video, we're going to be tidying up this code because this is a monstrosity. Uh, and then Friday's video, we're going to be tidying up a little bit more. We're going to be talking about the um, or object in tomorrow's video. So, And th that can be quite complicated um, if you pick the wrong one, which we'll talk about tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.